Good morning, my name's Tom, and today's video is about a, uh, a war hero, a bad guy, uh, uh, somebody who is inarguably a bad guy, and a teenager. Uh, this goes back to, I want to say, the summer of 2000, maybe 2001. For safety reasons, the teenager's name is going to be Tara. The bad guy's name is Ronnie Long. That's his actual name. He was a Klansman who did seven years in Trenton State before getting a governor's, getting released on a mass pardon from an outgoing governor. It's funny how people like him managed to sneak into those lists. And the war hero, his name was also Ron. I can't remember his last name. That's... 25 years ago. Uh, but I can't remember his last name. Uh, I think he was a Korean War veteran. If I knew his last name, I would look him up to verify that. He was of a similar age to Ronnie Long. Tara was a teenager working on the boardwalk, um, you know, for the summer, uh, usually every summer. And Ronnie Long he loved to advertise what a jerk he was. Uh, I mean, there was no hiding it after he did uh, his time in Trenton State. And, um, you know, I guess that's just kind of how that goes. He was kind of like a sounding board for those people. And one day Tara came across him and the other Ron, the war hero, talking on the boardwalk. It's weekday... Uh, not quite open yet, just before 7 a.m., so there's no big crowds. And uh, they were holding a conversation, and I did verify that this happened. Um, and, uh, yeah, they were reminiscing about old cross burnings. And uh, I guess uh, they were planning their next one. And, um, well, Tara wasn't sure what to do with that. Because uh, the town didn't give a crap about what us kids had to say. Uh, like, well, you, your dad works for the town. You know, talk to your parents. Why, why, does, why, do, why does the town need to know? Well, because this guy's considered a local hero. They celebrate this man. It turns out he's one of the bad guys, too. And, um, you know, she had told her parents and of course her parents uh didn't want to believe it either it's like oh no honey you're just confused ronnie long is the clansman and it's like no, no no it's the both of them they were having the conversation and it's like oh well ron was just joking he was just humoring ronnie long and it's like no no, no. they were planning a cross burning according to tara her mother suddenly had a look of horror after you know finally getting it to sink through into her skull that this was a bad guy and she said i never would have guessed i can't confirm that that's what actually happened in the conversation with her parents but that was how she described it fast forward a month and the town is having um a big to do like a mayor's fundraiser sort of thing um attached to it where they're celebrating their local war hero and um her parents went to it it was on his birthday uh you know and you know i was there for this part it's like why'd you go to that he, he's he's one of the he's in the clan and you know her parents are like oh no honey you're just confused so how could that happen? Well, I'd say it doesn't help that her parents were alcoholic. Um, and not in the stumbling drunk fashion, fashion either. I mean, they were the, you know, one was a day drinker. Uh, you know, have a pint with lunch, a couple of beers after work every single day for his entire career. And, you know cuts loose on the weekend and goes through a, a, a case on weekends. Um, but, you know, 
He's in control. He knows what he's doing. And her mother, well, she doesn't drink. Except like every couple of months and she'll go through like two bottles of wine all at once. Uh, which is called a binge cycle alcoholic. So, okay. So they already have problems that they're avoiding dealing with. And now somebody that they knew was a hero. Like they knew deep in their heart, this man's a hero. He deserves our respect and our love and our admiration. Well, it turns out he's a villain. And that kind of changes their entire view of the world when you lose a hero like that. It's worse when that hero becomes, you know, such a villain. And you don't want to... Your mind wants to reject that information. doesn't matter who you are. You throw in the codependency of addiction, though, and suddenly it, uh, it, it gets worse. So that's kind of one of those things that you need to be cognizant of as events play out in life. If you're trying to convince somebody that a person that they know is a hero, that that person's actually a villain, you have to manage your expectations. Because even if you're somebody they love, they're going to choose... Oftentimes, they're going to choose that codependency over their own children. There's just nothing you can do about it. Um, maybe with time, I don't know, therapy, sobriety, you know, things can get better. I mean, I know they can, but it's not easy to convince somebody short of laying down the ultimatum to do that. And even when you lay down the ultimatum, again, you need to manage your expectations because... That may be the end of it. Like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments. And have a great day.